I'm going to be doing a series of unboxings over the next little while here. I've actually got an entire new lineup of CPU coolers from Silent X. So this is their Ephizio lineup. I've got the Compact, which comes in a blue box. I have the Extreme, which comes in a green box. I have the Performance, which comes in a gray box. And I have the Low Profile, which comes in a red box. So the very first one that I'm going to do is going to be the Compact. And the reason I'm going to do the compact first is completely arbitrary. I like the blue color because I am wearing a blue shirt today. So this is the quietest noise level heatsink. So that means it falls under there less than 18 decibel rated heatsink category. You can see that we have two six millimeter heat pipes that are heat pipe direct touch. So they direct the interface with the processor core. That means that you get slightly better thermal performance, but it is more expensive to manufacture a heat sink that has the heat pipes directly contacting the CPU core with optimized fan blades for the greatest air to noise ratio. So they're using Silent X fans, which they well should because this is a Silent X heat sink. And next, we have that they have a new universal mounting system. So that's going to be a big one that we're going to look closely at is how solid is the new universal mounting system. So here's the compatibility as well as the specifications. I'll let you have a close look at those. So you can see the weight is actually quite low, which I would expect for a low profile, uh, rather for a, uh, a compact heatsink because you don't want a compact heatsink that weighs a ton. You've got the ratings for the fan on there as well. So let's go ahead and open up the box and have a look at what we find inside. So the first thing that I'm going to notice here is that it is very compact. This is a small heatsink, so that means that you can use it in a case that is very slim because it's not going to sit very far away from the motherboard. And you can also use it in a case where there's you've got a fair bit of clearance from the CPU socket upward, but you don't need a ton because it does use an 80 millimeter fan. So let's go ahead and have a look at the back plate for their new universal mounting system. All right, so we've got holes on here. Ooh, that's nice and solid. You can see they've actually shaped it as well. See this groove in here? So they've shaped it in order to give it a little bit more structural rigidity. And you can see that they've got a plastic coating on the back here. So I can't actually put my finger into that groove. So that's to keep it non-conductive when it's plastered to the back of a motherboard. So we've got 775, 1156, 1366 holes, AM2, AM3 holes, K8 holes. You've got holes for pretty much everything you could want to you know, make a hole in it to mount it to. All right, next we have, ooh, a CPU uh, fan speed controller. That's a pretty good value for a low-end heatsink. You don't usually expect to see that. And this is a value heatsink. I mean, you're not going to be shattering any performance barriers with this one. That's not the point of this product. Okay, so in here we have our AMD K8, AM2, AM2+, AM3 mounting hardware. So you can see we've got a little adapter here that we basically bolt onto the cooler. And then we use the included screws to screw it down, okay? I love that all of the mounting hardware here is made out of solid metal pieces. There isn't a single plastic piece of mounting hardware in this entire kit. So we've got, okay, yeah, we've got rubber grommets to mount the fan if we want uh, noiseless fan mounting, but that's it, and that's perfectly acceptable. Other than that, we have bolt through, okay? We have thumb screws with uh, spring mounting, so those are things that I really like to see. And then we have like no plastic nonsense. Uh, we've got some included thermal compound. This is Silent X brand thermal compound. Ooh, uh, greater than 30% silver content by volume. So that's a silver based thermal compound. Here's our included fan speed controller. I've seen these in a number of different uh, heat sink solutions. So there's probably some OEM somewhere that makes these. They work really good. They have a hole in here because there's a little heat sink down there. It gives it some ventilation for the heat that it's going to kick off. It's not very much though. So you just plug this into your motherboard. You plug this into the fan and then you control the fan speed. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, what I'll probably do is plug this into my, uh, my test bench, which is just sitting over there. And then we can hear how loud the fan is. Now, this isn't a typical looking Silent X fan. I was expecting to see one of their uh, silvery looking fans, but I guess that's fine. Oh, cool. That's nice. So they actually include uh, extra rubber mounts because you can see the rubber mounts on here are uh, already attached to a fan. So that means you can actually set this up as a sandwich. This is kind of a neat design. I haven't seen something like this from Silent X before. So first, let's have a look at our three pin fan connector right here. That's it. That's all there really is to say about it. It's three pins. It's fan. The fan is black and white and you can see it's actually mounted with a bit of a gap here. So the way that these um, 
that these rubber grommets work is they actually slide into the heat sink right here and then you just push the fan onto it and pull them through. That's actually pretty clever. I like it. So you've got your two heat pipes. Now this isn't going to be, like I said, it's not a high performance product. So you've only got two six mil heat pipes, but you do have a quite a flat finish to the base. It's all machined very, very nicely. And I'll do the obligatory uh, finger shot thing here, which doesn't actually tell us anything, but everybody does it. So I guess I might as well. So you've got your universal hold down on here. Okay, actually, oh, no, yeah, oh yeah, this is universal, so the AMD clips go on to these holes, and then they expend, extend it a little bit, and then these are the Intel holes. Okay, so you've got a little heat sink built right over onto the heat pipes, so that's going to dissipate a little bit of heat, but it's not going to get a ton of airflow, even if you're running like a push-pull setup with the fan. And then I really like the way they've laid out these heat, um, these, uh, heat sink fins. So what they've done is they've actually built in like kind of a, a different shape to every alternate fin. So that gives you a bit of a, um, I don't know how to describe this, but the way it looks to me is like what they're aiming for is more of a streamlined entrance for the air that's going through where most of the air goes through, which is directly under the fan blades. So you can see right under the fan blades, that's where you have this intersection where some of the fins are shaped out in a bulge like this and some of them are shaped in an hourglass shape in like that. So that's, uh, that looks like it's by design. It's quite a dense fin arrangement. So what you're probably going to want to do is invest another $3 uh, and get a cheap fan, or you can invest a little bit more and get a nice silent fan. Throw that on the other side. You should have a nice performing little cooler for a relatively inexpensive cost. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Aphysio Compact Heatsink. And don't forget to subscribe to my Tech Tips video blog.